We are now in position and ready to place the needle for sampling. In order to spare our patient, I am going to do a slow, step-by-step -step demonstration of the biopsy technique using liver purchased at the grocer packaged in two layers of latex gloves. This is an excellent tool for practicing both thin needle aspiration biopsy technique and smearing. Tumors received fresh in surgical pathology can also be used. I have indicated the size and location of our imagined target within the liver with a mark on the surface. In this case, the imagined target is one centimeter in diameter and located half a centimeter under the surface. I am palpating the target, placing my fingers on top of it, and then spreading apart, stretching the skin and staying close to the target for additional control, making sure the target will stay put throughout the whole procedure. I lean the syringe on my fingers for support. This allows me to position the needle tip just above the surface, ready to penetrate at the pre-planned spot. The needle is advanced into the target and the plunger is retracted to create suction. Then the needle is moved back and forth, taking care to keep the tip inside the boundaries of the lesion. 15 to 20 excursions are done routinely before the suction is released and the needle withdrawn. If blood appears at the hub, you may want to limit the number of excursions to between 5 and 10. The needle should slide in and out without sideways pressure. If the needle appears bent or if the glove surface is wrinkled on one side, it is a sign of sideways pressure. Sideways pressure is dangerous to the operator because should the needle slip out, it could easily injure one of the fingers stabilizing the target. There may be a tendency for the needle to penetrate a little deeper with each stroke. This will result in poor sampling because the needle tip will sample beyond the target instead of in it. Keep the size and the location of the target in mind and concentrate on moving the needle accordingly.